that game had about everything I thought, you know, except for me getting a technical. Uh, it had the the smorgasbord variety of everything. Great, great. It's the difference I think between the NBA and college basketball at this time of year. It's it's very exciting. So it was a great win. Um, UNLV played well enough to win. They really did. Um, but the last shot kind of indicated how the game went. So we were fortunate, but I thought I was very proud of our guys for them to respond after, I would say, a Wyoming hangover would be my best bet. I don't know, but we started out extremely poor. And we played against a team that had San Diego State the same way, I think. I don't know what the lead was, Danny, but they had them by a lot at San Diego State, and they had the lead at Kansas with six minutes to go. So UNLV had a lot to do with it. Questions? What do you think was the biggest difference in the turnover? Get some defensive stops off in that transition? Because they got a whole lot of run outs there. Yeah. We just weren't. I, I think. I, I think uh, we started playing harder, and we always play hard. But I thought we really realized that you know, we're going to have to we're going to have to really play right to win this game. So once we that hit, we started doing what we do. We started being who we were, which is getting the rebounds, which is getting the stops, which is playing it right. I guarantee you, we played almost every defensive scheme that they have wrong early in the game. And that led to their scoring. I guarantee you, the last 10 minutes of the half, we played it you know, darn near perfect. So the key was we started being who we really are, and, and that's defending and rebounding. Zach, what, what just hit that, that run before half? Uh, Closing the gap so yeah. you're not down by double. Well, I thought it was. Well, it's why we. It's why we won. And then when we took the lead by about five, UNLV, UNLV showed something they had not shown, which, I mean, they have. But um, Dave told me before the game, Coach Rice said that he loves this guy's character, and they showed it today. You know, it takes for young guys to be able to do that in this environment. I mean says a lot about UNLV and everybody thought it you know just a walk through in this conference tournament are you kidding me this team should have won four in a row we were fortunate and uh, he's done an unbelievable job of, of it's not easy coaching players of that high profile and uh, um, they're very much a team where they were trying to figure themselves out early and the only way they figure themselves out is with the with a great coach, so Dave has done a, done as good a job as anybody in the league at putting the pieces together with probably really young, you know, in, some immaturity on it. So on defense, so giving you guys some issues a little bit this year, what do you think the difference was today? You know, I, I don't maybe playing at home. You know, I, I know we worked hard on it to move more and cut, and, uh, you know, when you make baskets, you look good. When you don't, you know, we've, we've said that. We look terrible at Wyoming. Mean, we look great tonight because we made some big shots at the end. And, and um, I, I, We executed better is the answer to that. And uh, and we just shot it better. You know, we just made shots that we did miss at Wyoming. Almost a must-win game in some ways, knowing you can't afford to really yeah, yeah, I think they're all must win um, pretty much for the most part. So we only have seven left. And, I, I you know, I, I, I told the team I got a little emotional because I, I just – you're still trying to figure things out. I've just – you know, we've really we, – we've done a lot of film, a lot of – we need to practice more. As teams are grinding down practice right now, we need to wind it up more. I know we're very fortunate in spite of my decision to not practice as much to win the game, and I give the players all the credit. So, uh, I mean, they want to be out there, and we're worried about injuries, and we're, and we're worried about things we can't control. So we're going to extend practice. Um, they're very receptive to it, but give the players 
the credit for winning the game under some circumstances of not doing a lot of things on the court. Uh, I know our quarterback was able, didn't throw the ball right uh, for like six weeks before the games. You know, that's tough. That's different in football. Um, I may be right about that, right? Didn't didn't Grayson not throw the ball for three weeks or something until the game? I think Danny's my he did, Danny's slow today. He's not getting <laughs> not getting the reaction. But you can't do that in basketball. You need to play the game. So we got fortunate. Give the guys all the credit. Give you and LV a ton. It was a great college game. Well, you got to get to those guys. We got to get through these guys, and we did today. And that's not easy because this league is. I thought at times it's been overrated. I think this year it's so underrated. You know how good it is, how hard it's going to be to go to Fresno, or you know how hard it's going to be to go to Nevada. Um, you got to go through those guys and and go through these guys. You just saw how good they are. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they need to be patient with with Coach Rice and those guys because he's done a fine job. And, they're you know, everybody thought, oh, it's an open tournament right now. I bet UNLV is a favorite to win the conference tournament after what I just witnessed. So they're all big. And to get up to the top, you got to go through some great teams that are in the middle. EB takes a lot of those longer threes, pull-ups, and Coach might – Frustrated at times about shot collection, but you know he makes a couple of down the stretch here today. Just what do you think when he's taking those shots? I, it depends on if they go in or go in or not. I I don't you know that's the thing players like about our the way we play is they they're allowed to do that. You know they just got to be held accountable on what really did win the game, some key rebounding and some key stops. But yeah, I mean DB is a different player from the, even the beginning of this year. He's just so more efficient and much more impacting winning. I think he really is the true all-league player that he's been advertised as. It's pretty cool to see that develop. Where do you start to see a sense of urgency with these seniors? I mean, they really factor in these days, those three senior starters. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think so because I've made it so huge. I said you got four hours, two hours left on this court, four hours left on, and because if you play thirty minutes a game, so, and then what? Else? I wrote urgency on the board at halftime, you know, um, and uh, I sensed we did. The problem was the opponent. You know, once we got through the storm of the beginning, the problem was the opponent today. We had tremendous urgency throughout the game. I mean, we're not practicing a lot, and J.J. to be able to play 38 minutes at that pace in Daniel is is remarkable. And I really kind of got emotional in front of him for such a – it's one of the better games I've been in in a long time. You guys are undefeated in the Orange Jobs. Is there something special about this atmosphere versus another game at Moby? I think there's something different about it. I really do. I mean, it costs money to buy an orange shirt. And I didn't see many green or white shirts. I mean, it, you know, you might be able to get one for three bucks somewhere, a T-shirt. But I saw some real nice. My wife managed to spend a lot of money on hers. <laughs> so, so, you know, I think it's really cool. I think it shows the commitment. Yeah, there is something different. Absolutely. I, um, I feel it. I, I don't know. What do you think? Don't you think it's a little different? I think it's cool. Yeah, we beat <coughs> beating Jam Jamal Franklin in it. That was cool. That was a good time. So. In the conference races, the Heat teams playing, like you said, who you are. Is that going to be the key to you know, whatever style you play to play who you are to, to finish strong in the conference race? The key is going to be to stay healthy. That's the biggest key. I think. After that, absolutely, you've got to be able to not only protect your home court, but be able to take your home court game and get it on to the opponent's court. And we've been really good at it, and that's as simple as that. We've been really good at it sometimes, and we struggled 
like crazy the other night. So, you know, we've had some great ones and we've had some tough ones. So uh, we got uh, there's no margin for error in those games, and that's what it always comes down to. Anyway, pretty simple. But I see where you know, look at Wyoming. All of a sudden, Nance is hurt, and that there's your health right there, and they get drilled by Air Force. I mean, that's, you're just that far away from, from, you know. Did you guys see Joe's sister out there? Did you see her? How tall is she? She played in the WNBA. Joe, Joe, it's too bad. Joe's, I'll get off subject. Joe's, she's 6'2"? Yeah. 6'3"? Probably 6'4". She, she sees eye to eye with Joe, I think, yeah. His sister, anyway, that was... Good game. Help these guys. Yeah. How big was it, you think, the way you guys finished that first half? <coughs> to give you guys momentum. Um, you know, we kept fighting and uh, stops, uh, you know, caused that. In the last 12 minutes, they had five points because the coach was preaching to us in the time up before we came out. And uh, he just was saying, you know, keep getting stops and the offense come. And Daniel drove, penetrated. He could have took a shot of his own, but he found me and, you know, the rest of history. But other than that, defense, defense. Caused that that momentum swing, uh, momentum swing, and for us to come out in the second half and uh, take the lead and you know control the game a little bit. <coughs> How hard was it though to look up at that scoreboard early and see you were down by 18 points on your home floor? Mm, it was tough, but at the same time, you know, uh, we got competitive guys and we just wanted to fight, and keep fighting, keep chipping away. We couldn't, we know we couldn't get it all back in one. Uh, I think we did a better job of that than uh, we did up in Wyoming. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's basically what got us back in the game. Uh, no, not really. I don't think so. No, no, no I, it was it was a team effort. You know, you know, John John came in and did did what he did. G and came in, he knocked down the down the free throw. So it was it was basically a team team effort, and it's always going to be a team effort. You know, so. <coughs> what did you guys say to each other in the locker room at halftime, or what did Coach say to you guys? Because you guys came out and seemed pretty confident. Uh, he really didn't say nothing. We were talking to ourselves. We said. Um, like that's the way we know we can play. They scored five points in the last twelve minutes, so we came. We were in the locker room talking about let's just keep keep uh, stopping them and keep being, uh, just keep playing good defense and the offense will be there. We scored enough points already. Um, I think we came out and we just we just believed that we could that we could stop them and, uh, and we came out with the win. What's the biggest difference in the transition defense? Because they were getting a lot of transition buckets when they built that early lead, and you guys seemed to really start taking those away from them when you went on that. Uh, was it anything conscious you guys were doing? Or uh, we, uh, our fours and fives weren't weren't getting back fast enough, so the guy, the guard, couldn't get out to the shooters uh, quick enough. So that was on us, and we just had to work a little harder and uh, just get back and help them out. Daniel, just those two threes. I mean, to tie the game and then to take the lead. <coughs> what are you thinking in those situations, and just how, how does it feel when you knock those down? I feel great. You know, I want it. I want the ball as you as you saw at the end of the game. Um, you know, so. Uh, we needed a bucket, you know. Um, I was really feeling it after uh, a couple of guys missed, um, and you know, I, once I got it, you know, I shot it, you know. And then Jay, Jay got the rebound, and obviously he found me, and you know, I had I had the confidence and to, to shoot it right down, you know. So just do whatever it takes um, to get the win, you know. So it doesn't matter if I score five or three or whatever, it doesn't matter as long as we get the win. <coughs> I said, damn, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We just get went up four with, what, a minute? Like, there was like 48 seconds left? Yeah. Then he makes that in. Come on, man. So. Yeah. JJ, what was the feeling when you grabbed that final rebound? Taking away their last chance. Uh, just what man. went through your mind? Well, we were, we were told not to come off number three because he's a shooter. And he was wide open. Wide open. I was so happy that it came off, so I just I just threw it. Um, but, I mean, it's such a great feeling. Uh, Crazy win! They're a great team, they're very talented, and they're they're young. Um, they're they're a really good team. They're gonna they're gonna do damage. I think that was the difference. You guys, one of the more experienced teams in the whole country, and they I mean they're starting a bunch of freshmen and sophomores. Was that the difference? Yeah. yeah I guess. I don't you know. can. I don't know. I mean, freshmen, sophomore, junior. If you can play, you can play. Those men do show that the first half that they can play, and uh, you can play. You just had to mix them. 
some defense, you know, defense stops. <coughs> that's what we did. But other than that, those guys are good <coughs> no matter what. I mean, look at Kentucky. You know, all those guys are freshmen and they undefeated, you know. So uh, those guys are good. Damn, please don't go home. <laughs> that would have been yeah, so man. disappointing. I would have been sad. Like, I don't know. That would have been 20 and 20 of the season, is that hold some significance for you guys? I would coach gets a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Um, yeah. uh, we just want to win, man. We shouldn't have lost these. We, we don't look at the 20, we look at the four. Yeah. And uh, we should not have lost any of these games that, that we have. And, uh, I mean, 21 is great, but uh, we're still looking. We're still just keep trying to win, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep keep getting better, keep getting better. I know I always say that, but we can't keep getting going backwards. We can't keep getting in these big holes at the beginning of the games, and uh, we're lucky enough to to pull it out. But uh, against some teams, we're not gonna be able to. Thank goodness we're at home. <laughs> yeah, you guys showed some resolve tonight. Do you think you're getting closer to you know, realizing how good you guys can be? Start off. We need to start off better. We can't keep having these slow starts defensively, offensively. Um, I mean, that'll that'll be some nights, but um, our staple is defense, and uh, we can't we can't keep doing that. Um, we we missed some assignments, and that we shouldn't have that we've been practicing, and uh, we can't keep doing that if we want to be the team we want to be. <coughs> Obviously, defense leads the offense, so that's what we uh, try to preach. And basically, uh, as in for me, really uh, try to preach to our to our guys. You know, so um, these these last second half of the season, these these games have to be ours. You know, so uh, I know we're at San Diego State. I know we're at we're at Utah. We're at Fresno. We're at we're at Nevada. You know, so we can easily win win those games if we sit here and just play D. You know, so. Start this winning streak, and these these games really have to be ours. The last seven. Yep. <clears throat> you guys are undefeated in these orange jets. Is there something special about this atmosphere different than just another game? We only feel like wear. We look good in these jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> we only wear them once, so you know we have to go to win in them. You know, so maybe the good luck. I don't know, but we're sure. undefeated and I'm cool. Oh, it's just my little t-shirt. You like? Uh, that's crazy. I, I like I like these ones. You know, than last year's. You know, so. They're probably give you that cool. old school feel. Yeah. Like the Georgetown in the 90s and 80s. Standing when you guys were down by 18 in the first half, did you feel like you were kind of fighting for your NCAA tournament lives there? Uh, yeah, pretty much because we know this team is uh, a good team, even though they beat Arizona. Uh, they got some losses that's questionable. And, um, you know, with the NCAA tournament, it's all about the RBI. So, uh, you know, we just <coughs> have to keep fighting. You know, I, I didn't have a doubt in my mind that, you know, we were going to lose that game. Like, I just was saying to myself, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. We just got to keep fighting. Got to keep fighting. And that's what we did. Jay, can you answer that? Huh? Uh, I mean, we're not thinking about that right now. I think um, we're just taking one game at a time, one play at a time. And, uh, I mean, all you got to do is, is keep winning. That's all, we, that's all we're worried about. And, uh, I mean, we're going to we're gonna earn whatever whatever we get at the end. At the end. And, uh we just gotta, we just gotta, just gotta keep getting better. We can't, we can't have these defensive lapses. Dan, I know you said that you, there's no doubt in your mind you were gonna win, but more specifically, was there something that triggered the turnaround for you guys? Uh, just keep getting stops. That's the main thing. Uh, playing defense, offense. <coughs> we were uh, taking quick shots a little bit, but on the, on the defense end, we had to stop them before you know we could change the game. Those guys were getting open looks, uh, and you know once we did that, the game turned around.